All right, let's install Kira's TensorFlow on a Mac M1, M2 with full GPU support. This is an install video for my course at Washington University, but it should apply to really anyone. You may not need every package that I install, but we'll get to that in a moment. First step, install Minaconda. You could install the full-blown Anaconda, but I do prefer the more minimalist approach, but we will uh, we'll go ahead and, and, and get that. Make sure... Make sure that you choose the correct one of these. If you choose the wrong one, it's going to look okay, but then the Python gods will punish you greatly. So Miniconda 3, Mac OS, Apple M1, 64-bit package. And if you're, well, if you're running something other than 64-bit, you're not running a Mac M1. So let's go ahead, download that. That downloads relatively quickly. We'll go ahead and run it. It's going to guide us through the steps. We're going to check the readme all this stuff. If you already have this installed, you may want to just completely uninstall it, uh, or probably keeping it will be okay because we're gonna create a new environment that's going to have Python version 10 on it anyway. But install only for me. We will go ahead and install. You should not get any security prompts or anything here. If it is prompting you for your password, you're probably trying to install it off in the root location and that'll give you other problems later. And by the way, if you run into problems on these, post the errors that you get in the comments section. I don't have time, unfortunately, to help everybody one-on-one, -on -one, but as I see those, that helps guide me for future videos and other people watching in the comments may help you as well. I've, that's the usual flow on the previous versions of these videos. So it's installed. We'll go ahead and close. We'll move the package file to the trash. We really don't need it. And then the next step is we're going to open up a terminal. Just click that. And we're going to run this little bit of code here. That installs some Xcode tools that you might need, that you do need. And I already have it installed, so I'm just going to get that prompt back. It's also important to note we are in the base environment. We're going to create another environment that has TensorFlow for us but we are going to install Jupyter into the base environment. Normally you don't want to install much into your base environment, but Jupyter, which is the IDE that we're making use of, is a good thing. This will take a moment depending on your internet connection speed. And we're done. I am going to go ahead and move out of this base environment with this Conda deactivate down here. This may or may not be necessary. I've found in the past it's not, but I've gotten enough reports that it's necessary that I just make it part of the install process. So now we're no longer in base. Next, we're just going to run this YAML file here. There's always much confusion on where this file is located. I'll try to make this as clear as possible. I will post the link to it in the description. The link to this file overall that I'm following is also in the description. If you just click it, it'll pop it open for you. You can clone my entire repository to your local computer, or you can just just save as and put it off to your to a location and then run it. But you're going to need to run this command. And I'm going to go ahead and pop open a new terminal window so I get the base back and just... So now I'm going to go ahead and run this command. Make sure that the YAML file is in your current directory. I'll even put a wget command to just pull it down directly. This takes a moment to run because it downloads a lot of stuff. If you're going to get an error, this is most likely where it'll pop up. Again, this will depend on your internet connection speed. All right, it's available. We will follow the next step and conda activate TensorFlow. And then we're going to run this command. This puts it actually into the Jupyter Notebooks list of kernels. If this command gives you an error that you don't have IP kernel, just conda install it. It was part of my YAML file, so it should have installed. But if you prune that back, you might have taken IP kernel out. So just, just conda install IP kernel. That appeared to work. Now you'll want this, this Jupyter notebook that I have here, the, the, the TensorFlow install Mac version because you're going to want to run this very last part just to see that it says GPU is available. It's the final check. I already have it in this current directory. 
So just scroll to the bottom. I'll put a wget command in for this one too, that you can just pop the wget command into the terminal and it'll come down for you. You run this, this takes a moment because it is creating an entirely new kernel on the Mac in memory. And it should say GPU is available. If it does, you are golden. If you get other errors, post them in the comments and I or somebody will, will reply. Like I said, I don't really have time to get into individual installations of, of people, but if something breaks on the back end, that's my first alert that other things are going wrong. So now that you have installed this, subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you get all the other updates and you'll have stuff to actually run in here. And was this video useful? Smash the like button. All right. Thank you very much. Is this video helpful? Smash the like button and maybe subscribe. It definitely helps the channel and lets me know what to publish in the future.